Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to Fort William. We've improved a bit. And it was like I said, after the Falco game, you know, we talked about, um, well, I talked, you kind of listened and then left comments. That's how YouTube works. Uh, basically, sometimes I feel like, and this is probably just in my brain, that sometimes a tactic, it doesn't get figured out, but it, it sometimes just needs a break. Maybe teams are, <clears throat> because you're playing so well, you're banging in goals, you're top of the league, or like we're battling last season for top of the league, that teams then start playing a different way against you because of that and all that sort of stuff. And I, some, I feel like sometimes it just needs a break. So after a bit, after uh, the horrendous run of form, we went to the old 4 1 4 1, right? And smashed A United, right? 5 1. Like, it was. Never saw that coming, right? The last win we'd had was a, a scraped 1-0 win against Ross County. Um, smashed him 5-1. Big Pollocks finally remembered where the goal was. Got himself four goals. Craig Donald, three late goals as well. Craig Donald also on the score sheet. And I was like, we're back in business, boys. This is our meteoric rise up. That Oh, we lost 1-0 to Dunfermline. But we, we played okay. We played pretty well against Dunfermline. Then we just drew 0-0 with Clyde. Clyde, our second bottom from the league. We are third bottom, so... We should have won it. Uh, our goalkeeper got a 7.6 because he saved a penalty late on because we were pushing for the win. We were the better side but couldn't manage it. And then we just had a pretty comfortable win over Samirin. We went 2-0 up. Big Pollocks and Stephen Naismith with the goals. They got one back. It's weird how... How do I explain this? It's weird how the when you're not playing so well that normally... You know me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of when you're 1-2-0 up you know, going defensive and stuff. When you're desperate for wins, yeah, you, you can't help yourself. It's just like real life where the players just start sitting back further and further. I was like, full back, defend, which I never use. And I'm like, pull everybody back. And that's what we did against Samirin. And we, yeah, we got the win. We deserved it. Today we are playing Ross County, who are second in the league, but then Edinburgh City, who are 10th. So they've had their little spurt. And that, but it's dropped off. But unfortunately, Clyde won last game as well. So we've not really pulled away. It's still very scary. But this is before the transfer window opens. I'm going to hold my hands up here. I think this guy was a mistake. I think he's brilliant. If we played like a number 10. Um, he can't play up front. Because he can't finish for shit. Midfield, he's not good enough for a playmaker. We sort of, it's, it's just mm, his technical abilities aren't good. Like I got swayed by this group of large numbers, flair and leadership and stuff like this. We could a wide midfielder could be a thing because we play them inside a little bit more and they're attacking, so it's crossing is slightly less important. I might should we try it today? Shall we? Come on. Let's do it live. We're going to play him. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is a mistake. As a wide midfielder, uh, Big Pollock's is on really good form at the moment. He's found the back of the net. He's scoring regularly. Um, the breakout season has got to be John Sutherland. Uh, this is this what, second season with us? Yeah. And at the first season, he was great. <clears throat> but he didn't play all the games. And he was kind of in and out. And... I felt like he was good. I was happy with him in the squad. But he, Jack Watt was still the main man. But this season, he's dominating. He's already got two goals, two assists in one less game. Four man of the matches. Uh, but if we look here, he's got 2.66 key passes a game. He's, he's kind of running the show at the moment. Right. Let's play the Derek Collins <laughs> experiment. Remember, we are playing against second in the league. So... To bear that in mind when we lose 4-0. I'm just, just saying it now. <clears throat> One really disappointing thing that popped up. A recent league game at home. We beat the championship record for the lowest attendance. Which, we don't get big attendances. That's fair enough. But to be lower than we've ever been in the championship. Like, even last season, we got more people. Was That was a little bit disappointing. i uh, got to be honest. And it apparently was a record not wasn't even our record held by some club oh, okay um in the uh that stood for like six years or something like that so that was a bit disappointing we're not seeing the growth that we'd hoped for 
We're one nil down after two minutes. I don't think that was Derek Collins' fault. <clears throat> right. Um, let's go for push forward. Just sort of go for stuff that we know works. Okay, we'll keep an eye on actually. Where is Collins? Lovely pluckage. Collins, is that he? There he is, there he is. Uh, another thing, uh, McCart is... Oh, not the best. Oh, he's not even looking. Um, McCart, who is our sort of half-back stroke centre-back, is retiring at the end of the season, <clears throat> which is fair enough, but he's been pretty solid for us this year. Okay, instant replay. Okay, at least at least the goalkeeper's looking this time. McDonald lumps it forward. Get there, get there. Nice one, Naismith. That's it, keep hold of it. McCart, that's a beautiful ball. Nipples it down. Oh, then it's hard. It's hard to be that close to goal and still get it over. So you've got to give him props. He launched that one into space. <clears throat> okay, probably, I feel like I should have scored there, buddy. <clears throat> All right. Wow, this is an exciting highlight. Look at this. Oh, wow. God. Like Bayern Munich in their prime. This is that bit of passing. He just, we know what's going to happen. He's going to lump it forward and it's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Can we just get to that bit? Thank you. We, we, we saw it coming. Okay, corner ball. <clears throat> Baird heads it away. Lumps it forward. I'm, I, I'm actually going to... Oh, referee, referee, Sue Perkins on the right-hand side, running down the wing. Who knew she was black? Uh, easy for Adams. He's turning into a very good goalkeeper. I'm going to try and spend some money in the... <laughs> it's weird where it's hard to spend money at a club, but I'm going to try and spend some money. I think it's definitely... Relegation is, is going to be heartbreaking. So, oh, you've got to save that, Adams. I was just singing your praises. You're literally standing at the near post and then let it go in at the near post. But yeah, I'm going to try and spend some money. Even if I have to overpay a little bit, we've got money in the bank. It's more important that we ch stay in the championship for another year. I feel like the goalkeeper's got to save this. His positioning is perfect. And he's, oh, he's, he just didn't move for so long. I mean, oh, fuck, the ball's there. Sorry, I was miles away. <clears throat> None of this is Derek's fault, all right? <clears throat> Let's highlight him. So, oh, McCart's missed missed it. Good save, Adams. He's keeping us in this at the moment, lads. He is keeping us in this. Well, as in this as we can be. Two 0 down against second in the league. <clears throat> All right, Derek's banging in a solid six point three. All right. <clears throat> I feel like he's, he's so good. We've got to find a spot for him. Maybe we should just try and get a bit of cash for him. Yeah, we're going disappointing. Um, I think we'll leave as is for the time being. <clears throat> and then go to up top for the last sort of 15 if needed. Come on, boys. <clears throat> Stevens Adams makes another save. Oh, oh, counter attack. Here we go. Naismith. Go on. Fucking hell, what is that? What is that? One of those. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Not like that, mate. I mean, like, come on, play better. Not come on, just kick someone in the arse for no reason whatsoever. You absolute donkey bollocks. Big, you absolute giant bag of minge. <sighs> um, okay, we probably need to... We've we, we got to go for it. Got to go for it. This is, we're going to get murdered. We are going to get murdered. I, uh, but we got, we're going for it. 
We're going attacking. Ten men be damned. Push forward. I, I very much doubt this season is going to come down to goal difference. Oh, that's offside. Thank you. Adam's made a good save as well. <clears throat> Half an hour left. Come on, boys. Just show us something. Show us something. <clears throat> right. 69th minute. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. That's one thing I'd like to see improved in the game is when long balls come over and the got and your defender whether it's a full back or a center back has all the time in the world he's not being challenged there's nobody around him hang on hang on Pollux. fucking hell um and they always they just do soft headers like just straight forward rather than like oh i've got plenty of time maybe i'll just leave it for my goalkeeper or maybe i'll just chest it down or step back and control it they do terrible pointless defensive headers like far too much it's a long ball, though. Oh, what a touch. Pollux. There it is. Third time's a charm. And an A. A. We might give him a little nervy five minutes. Adams launches a missile. North Korea would be very proud of the range on that one. And big Pollux. Lovely finish. Decent, lads. Decent. Despite what's looking like a loss. Ten men. Be proud of yourselves. Hang on, does he see a vintage display? Fuck off. Scraped a 2-1 win against 10 men. I'm sympathising with the lads there. Stupid send it off. <clears throat> I will warn him sternly. Urgh. Don't do that. Was, was he the best, really, was he? He missed, like, one sit or one half chance before finally scoring. Okay. Right, we need to beat Edinburgh. We're doing, we're okay. We need to beat Edinburgh. Okay, Barney's coming back in. He's he was on a terrible run of form. We've dropped him for a few games, but he started the season really brightly, and then it all just bit fell off a cliff. But that was the whole team. So Barney, Captain Marvelous, is going to come back in. Patterson is finally having a good run of games after three seasons at the club. He's finally remembered. He's a left back, and he should do tackling and maybe run forward occasionally. And we need to drop him because he's... Nah, fuck it. Right, well, do we go Collins again? I don't think we do. but the, And not because he's... T I don't think uh, he's terrible at it. But obviously he needs to learn the position. And as we've discovered, part-time teams learning a new position, like a completely new position, is pretty much impossible. Um, Erskine has been at it for over a season and a half, something like that. Um, yeah, he's still crap at it as well. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, yeah, we won't bother with that. <clears throat> what we could do is when we go like a goal down, two goals down, rather than going trying to attackers, we could bring Collins on as a number 10, so go 4 4 one, one. That could be... We'll try that this game if, if it all goes tits up. But it won't because we're playing Edinburgh and they're crap at football. All right? They don't even know what colours they're wearing. Look, those two tits have turned up in blue. Bloody amateur hour. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Only other changes, obviously, uh, Black's come in for... Uh, suspended duty. Right, we need a win here, boys. We need a win. We need to create some sort of gapage to Clyde. And hopefully go above air as well. 20 minutes in. Well, it looks like we're edging it so far. The throw-in's gone to a teammate. Always a good sign. Sutherland. Patterson. A bit hopeful. Sutherland. That, that sort of head is just like, chest it down. Chest it down. You've got all the time in the world. There's nobody around you. You do not... How was that a penalty? Oh, this is... This is not going well, lads. That's right, Adams. He saved the last one. He's in his head. Love. Yeah. Come on, Adams. He, he, he felt like he should have saved it. He, died, he He went full sideways, but yet didn't move off the centre. How would you do that, really? You'd have to just spin, wouldn't you? Like, I'm going to full-length dive, but not move. Is is quite a 
skill. And also not save the ball that was right at you. I feel like that's quite a skill. <clears throat> okay. You know what? We're going early. We're going early. Derek. Because I, I think more so because they're a beatable team and we can afford to go a bit more attacking. Um, and I'm actually going to go push you guys a little bit wider. Now we've got more support in the middle. I'm going to say push forward. As you know me, number 10s never seem to work out for me, for me in this game. <laughs> they never actually do anything, I feel like. First goal of the season. Of course it is. I thought we were on the road to recovery. I've got to be honest, I thought we turned a corner. Look at that floppy jelly hands. Just catch it. How about catching it? This this is this is bad. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Two nil down against bottom of the league. Yay! They've done the double over us this season, haven't they? <laughs> Right, come on. Winners. Oh, dear. They get it. Go on, get it, get it. Oh, he's a heavy touch. You could have closed him down. Like your team instructions tell you to. Close close it down. That's a good header, by the way. That's, that's more like it. See, he was challenged, therefore, good header. You just get a head on it, don't you? Get as much distance as you can. Sutherland, lovely interception. We've got runners on the left of him. He uses him. Naismith, it's all about this ball in. It's decent. Oh, Morrison's missed the sitter. <sighs> it's not... This ball's not falling for us either, is it? Go on. Morrison. Oh, he's done really well. Go on. Hit it, Collins. Oh. <laughs> get no luck we are luckless that's a good ball in blocked yes Callum Black get in there come on grab the ball son get back on a centre circle it's scrappy but we deserved a bit of luck we deserved a goal from somewhere th this game and Callum Black now we need another one and this is it play it short okay just lump it forward aimlessly that's that's the second option, I suppose. <clears throat> oh, Callum Black is up for this. He's just gone straight through somebody. That's good defensive work. And now he's, they've got a bit too much space. Wilson into Baird. Bobby Baird. Bobby Baird. He's injured. Oh, he's <laughs> he plays it off the defender on purpose to line him up with the shot. We've got 12 minutes left. I would like to maybe adapt to this formation, but again, I can't use number 10s. Um, uh, skins. I know he's had a bad season. But they are better at shooting. That is my, my, that's my thinking. These guys are better at shooting than the two wingers. We already have the marauding fullbacks. We already have the overlap stuff. So just get him in the box. Oh, oh my God, Collins. How have you missed that straight the goalkeeper? Oh my God. What a weird game. <laughs> Fucking finishing is just missed them absolute sitters. It's <sighs> a good free kick from Pollocks as well. And he was through. He was through one-on-one -on -one the keeper from five yards. And he's like, straight at him. I'm going to hit it straight at him. The big pink bastard. <sighs> apparently we had... Apparently... Let's see if you agree with this comments. We didn't have a single clear-cut chance that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, game. Yeah, not not that one right at the end where no none no clear cut chances that game. 
Oh, you, you, well, you're not being arrested, mate. You're clearly just not being arrested. Oh, God, then, Black, I'll give you a bit of praise. Why can't I say well done on your goal? I'm gambling. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like, did he have good passing? I don't remember. Right, okay. Let's have a little chat, shall we? What do we do with... Oh, my God, he's, he's, he's banged it, a 6.3. Um, what do we do strengthening wise okay we've got money to burn we've got wages to burn we don't have players that want to come to us to burn That that's going to be the problem so don't assume we're going to spend half a million on some player I'm happy with the goalkeeper okay I really like Mackie D's at centre back right and both fullbacks on the right hand side. Okay, O'Donnell's not doing it, but Shanks has been solid. I like Shanks. I'm happy with that. It, I think a centre back because n nobody else is really doing it. Jack Bauer's not having a good season. He's 31 now. He's getting on a bit. Jack Baird's come in and done okay ish. But for playing a high line, I'm going to suggest five pace isn't a great idea. Um, Barney, I think, still a solid player. I mean, he's the captain. He could be third choice. Left back, Patterson's had a much better season. That's fine. And Marshall can fill in at um, as a reserve as well. That's okay. Okay. The other option is halfback that we can improve. Danny McDonald could play halfback role, although his passing's a little bit weak for that role. But he's obviously a centre back, which is almost a halfback. Maybe because he is retiring anyway. So halfback. Half-back, centre-back so far. <laughs> now, on to the right wing. Callum Morrison. 18 starts, one goal and only two assists. Got key passes of 0.89, which is like, yeah. Chances created. It's actually quite high. He's created m more chances per 90 minutes than anybody else in this team. So it seems like he's a little bit unlucky. That's why it's always good to look at these numbers rather than just sort of average ratings and stuff because you go, oh, he's only got two assists. But actually, it's not great. It's one chance created every four games. <laughs> Which, that's right, isn't it? A quarter of a chance every 90 minutes, yeah. Um, so I'm not sure I'm okay with him. But like that's a maybe option if we if we can find somebody. We've got Erskine who do we give him another game another run there because he did have a good, very good season like the back end of last season. <clears throat> I'd rather see if he can do it. Like now, centre midfield, I'm perfectly happy with. I love Callum Black. I love Craig Donald as our sort of defensive duo. We've got Sutherland and Jack Watt as our. Um, Playmakers. We've also got Luke Anderson, who's, who's pretty good as well. We've got Derek Collins. What the fuck are we going to do with him? He's only worth nine grand, so it's not like we can sell him for a bunch. <clears throat> um, on the left hand side, we've got Dukes, um, who's had a little bit of an off time recently. I've given him a bit of a rest, but he was he was brill last season. Look at that. So I'm I'm happy with the left, and also Naismith has done okay as well since coming in. So I'm happy with that up front. Big Pollocks is doing. Pretty good. He's a little bit hit or miss. Despite having 14 finishing, 15 composure and 14 first touch. He does like a miss, but he's getting in the positions and he's he's got 10 and 13 in the in the so I'm I'm I think striker wise we're fine and Shuttleworth as a backup is is okay. So January transfer window, if possible, when you come back, we will have a new centre back. I think that's probably the most important, followed by a half-back, secondary, and then a right-winger, thirdry. Yeah? Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, see you for a relegation battle in a month's time. We're playing Cowdenbeath in the Scottish Cup fourth round. Uh, they're a League One side. We'll f we won't we play that game. We'll come back. Well, I will, obviously. That would be weird if I didn't. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll have Celtic in the next round. But I think it's more important about the league this season. The Scottish Cup can fuck off, really, to be honest. Let's stay in the championship. It's really important, right? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.